Hi, I'm Jane LaFazio, and I'm excited to be here today to show you one of my favorite projects and the techniques I use to create recycled circles. It's a circular project, and I know you're going to think you know how to do it, but I'm going to show you each step to help, help get that wonky factor, that unpredictability in it. So I'm going to show you the materials first and let you know that you can use any fabrics you want. I do suggest you get you assemble about eight different patterns um, that that you that please you that the colors go together, and especially get a black and white fabric because the black and white always pops. It's always that little extra that adds to the project. I'm using Marcia Durst fabrics today, which I adore. Um, she creates them by um, resist and stamping in her studio, and then they're reproduced as yardage. And I love that they look so handmade and like art, an artist made them, which she is. Um, I'm going to have you um, cut the squares of fabric into six by six. Now I'm working on a 12 inch square um, recycled circles. I, there's just something about 12 inches. I do a lot of my artwork that way. This is the kind of project that you can adapt to any size as long as it's square. That's the most important thing. It's got to be square. Again, I work 12 by 12. You could do 14. You could even do 18. You could even do four. Anyway, so we're going to work 12 by 12 today. So if you cut your fabric into six by six squares, it'll be easier for you when we cut the arcs. I've also chosen a background fabric and it's also a Marcia Durst fabric. I wanted something kind of neutral, not really overpowering. You'll see the background fabric in the finished piece and you'll have the opportunity to show a lot or a little of it. Um, so just look at kind of a, a neutral, maybe an overall pattern. We're also using uh, steam seam today. And the way I'm gonna show you this project, it's gotta be steam seam It's double-sided, pressure sensitive, fusible webbing. And as you'll see, it makes it a lot easier. We don't have to keep running back and forth to the iron when we're fusing the pieces down. I like a low loft batting. Um, again, you can use whatever batting you like, but this is the one I like. The project is done with both sewing machine stitching and hand stitching. And honestly, you can do it all sewing machine or all hand stitching. The first few times I did this project, I don't even know if I had a sewing machine, uh, so I did it by hand. Um, so it's very versatile. I like to combine the two so that I'll have a lot of texture. Um, so over here I have some threads um, that I'm going to use for the hand embellishing. I really like um, hand dyed variegated thread. It's just one of my favorites. I think I'm using Laura Wazilowski, some of her thread, and just some other colored thread that I like to use. Um, the reason I like the variegated thread is that each stitch is different and it makes it not so boring, frankly. And when you do French knots with it, each knot is a different color, which is a bonus. I also have some gold um, thread, just for a little sparkle, just as an option. And then you'll see I have a few buttons. Um, this is a project that you can either do in a day or a year. <laughs> in other words, once you get the basic um, circles down, as you'll see, you can hand stitch and embellish this for a very long time. So you can add beads, buttons, um, occasionally I'll add a charm to the center. So don't worry about getting those embellishments quite yet. What I'd like you to do is gather your materials and all your fabrics and then come back here so we can start on chapter two and I'll show you the um, the process of how to create recycled circles.